Hey everyone, Michael Ferrara here. I am your positive energy trucker. And today I've been getting a lot of uh, comments on my if detracting sheet on basically asking how I did it, how I created it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two ways that you can do it. Not everyone probably has Google or um, Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to show you how to create the if the spreadsheet in Google Docs as well as I'll walk you through doing it in Microsoft um, Excel step by step so you can build your own spreadsheet so you can keep track of your IFTA and again this makes reporting your IFTA at the end of the quarter super quick like I said I can do it in five to ten minutes no problem get my IFTA done and no worries so right now I'm just in Google so when you go into Google basically you just want to type in Google Docs and if you don't have a Google Docs account you can create one but more than likely you probably have one. Once you get inside Google Docs, you want to click on this little main menu over here and you want to go to Google Sheets. And then from here what we want to do is we want to do uh, where is it at? We want to create a new sheet here. So what we're going to do is right here it says uh, start a new spreadsheet, a blank one. So we're just going to click on that. All right, here we go. So now we got our our blank spreadsheet, which essentially is going to be the same as in Microsoft Excel. This, the formula is going to be the same. Everything's going to be the same. So what you want to name this, you can name it whatever you want, but I just call mine um, IFTA. And the very first column, what I want to do is I'm going to put in date because this is going to be the date of everything. Okay. And then the next one, I want to do mileage. This is going to be my odometer, uh, the start of that that day. Just like you're tr keeping track of it on your logs or however you do it inside your truck, I use an envelope to keep my mileage. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to list the states that you go to. I'm going to go to Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, um, I mean, these are the main ones that I go to, so we'll just use these three for right now because I haven't really gone anywhere else other than these for right now. But if you have other ones, you know, like I said, you can do Indiana, um, Kentucky, Minnesota, wherever you go. You just keep listing your states up here, okay? And if you need to add them, you can add them. It's no big deal. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, fuel purchased. And then after that, I am going to do state purchased. So basically what this is, is I'll mark it down if I um, happen to get fuel or when I do get fuel. And then what state that I purchased it in. So I can keep track. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the um, number of gallons that I've purchased here. And then which gas station, which fuel station I um, picked it up from. And then finally, I'm going to do total mileage driven. Okay, so we see that now. So if you highlight everything, you should just be able to double click this. All right, that was a little too soon, but whatever. So basically, if you highlight and you double click one of the things, it'll it'll resize your spreadsheet here to, to make everything um, look a little bit nicer. But now under here, what I want to do is this is where I want to calculate everything. Okay, so I want to calculate all the miles I've driven in Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Indiana, Kentucky, Minnesota, etc. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a simple formula. It's um, a simple formula I'm going to use is basically equal sum and then what I want is I want to to take everything in C3 or yeah C3 all the way down okay so it's gonna be C3 and then the colon and then C and you just do like a thousand you know because you're just you just want to go all the way down okay so it's gonna calculate everything down 
Now the nice thing to make this easy is you don't have to keep typing in this formula each time. Okay, what you can do is when you click in here, you can just copy it. So Control C will copy it, and then if you click in the next and you do Control V, that's going to paste it. And now you see you see your formula up here. How now it says D3 to D100, so it just moved over. So I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to hit C, Control C, which copies it, and then Control V, and now you can see E3 to E E1000. I just click in the next one, click back, Control C, Control V, and then you just click over Control V, and it just keeps doing it. Click in the next one, Control V, because it's already copied. So I just keep doing it. Okay. So now we have our formulas, which is going to calculate all these going up and down. Okay. Fuel purchased. There's no formula there. We're just going to put an X in the place that we purchased it. The state. We're just going to list the state. Number of gallons. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do a simple formula. Okay, so we're going to do equal sum, and we want everything in K, everything in K down. Okay, so it's going to be K3, K3 to K1000. Okay, so now that's going to tally up everything here. The gas station, that's just going to be something we input, so there's no formula there. And then total miles driven is going to be the same thing. Equal sum. And it's going to be M, it's going to be M3, so M3 to M1000, okay? So now we have all of our formulas in here. So now what I usually do is I, I'll uh, color this in here and with Excel or with Google Chrome here, you can just do this one. So let's do it like that. So cool. So now, for example, today is the 8th, so 9-8-2021. So let's say that my mileage for today is, let's say I started at 500,000. All right, so 500,000 miles. And I did 168 in Illinois. I did 300 in Iowa. And I did 7 in Nebraska. All right. So again, if we click on here and we just double click this, it'll like rearrange everything. So now you can see that it's it's automatically telling telling up here for us, right? The other thing we want to do is see how this five hundred thousand is just five. It's a bunch of numbers. If you just click on the first cell here and then you hit Control Shift and all the way down, it's going to highlight everything in here, right? And then what we want to do is we want to right click, okay, and see how it pulls up all this information. And what we want to do here is there should be a format here. Let's see here. Conditional formatting. Let's try that. Um, that's not what we want. Here it's not. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay, so at the top, it's a little different for Google Sheets than it is in Excel. But see how it says format up here? We're gonna click on that. And then now what we're gonna do is we want to do number. So we want to change this to, it's automatic. We're going to change this to number. And then, I wonder if it gives us, let me see something here. Hold on. We're trying this out together here, guys. So we're going to go back up. See how, I mean, it formatted, but see, we don't want the decimal point here. So let's try this again. Let's do um, number and let's do more formats, custom number format. Here we go. Okay. So now we have the options here and we want to select... I mean, this is a bunch of options, but this one's one that it looks like that I want. Let's do apply. See what happens. Okay, cool. So now we have 500,000. Cool. But now we see um, all this isn't tallied on the side over here, right? So what we want to do, we want to tally everything up going this way. So on, from here to calculate our mileage, we're going to do another equal sum, okay? And this time... We want to start at C. 
So we want C3, C3, and we want all of our states. So depending on how far your states go over, mine just goes to H. But if yours went to I, J, K, you just want to go all the way to N. Since mine ends at H, I'm going to do C3, which is this one, all the way to H3, H3, okay? And see, now it tallied up my miles for me. And then all I need to do now is for the next one is I just control C and then I can just control V, okay? And I can just hold shift down and go down to here and just hit control V again. And it copies that formula all the way down, okay? As you can see the formula up here, it's, it's still doing it for us, right? So now let's say, you know, tomorrow I come in, 9-9-2021. I know I drove 475 miles, so my odometer would read 500,475, right? And see how the formula did that? Now, I ended up in Nebraska, so today let's just say I did 100 miles in Nebraska. So there we go. So now it calculated over here, okay? Now let's say that I needed to get fuel, okay? So I'm going to put an X here. And what I usually do for this one is I usually format. So if you so control shift and then all the way down, I usually like to make this um, in the middle. Okay, so see how the X is in the middle now? I don't know. You can do it how you want, but that's how I like it. Um, the other thing I do is state purchased. So this I purchased in Nebraska. Okay, so how many gallons? Let's say I did 150 gallons. Okay. You see how my gallons are already populated up here. So it's just going to keep on doing it. Right? You see that. So now, imagine you did this all the way down. Right? When you come, when it comes time for IFTA, it's going to say, how many miles did you drive in Illinois? Well, I did 168. Boom. I did 300. You know, because it's just going to keep tallying up. In Nebraska, I did 107. See how it tallied these up together? So then, you're just going to put in your total miles. How many gallons? Now, I mainly fill up in Illinois, okay? So when I fill up out of state, I will also do this. I'll write Nebraska, but then I'm going to do 100 gallons here, okay? And the reason I do that, or 150, because we bought 150. The reason I do this, okay, is because when I go to do my, my IFTA, all the ones that I purchased in Illinois, like let's say this was 200, this was, you know, 150, this was 200, Okay, see how I have 700 gallons? Well, all of these are in Illinois. This one's in Nebraska. And when you're doing your IFTA, you have to put in each state where you purchased your fuel, right? So I would just come up here. I would delete this out. So now I know, okay, so everything I purchased in Illinois was 550 gallons. And then when I'm putting in Nebraska, I know I did 150. If I had Iowa, it would be the same thing. I would just delete it out and then I'd add it up there, okay? So the real quick, that's how we do a Google Sheets. Okay, Excel is exactly the same thing. Um, I was going to do an Excel example as well, but I mean, we're already 13 minutes into this, so it's getting a little bit long. The other thing you do is rename your sheet. Um, you know, so this would be, you know, 2021, 20, and we're in Q3. So I do that. Okay. And then the cool thing is with this, if you just click this, it adds a new sheet. Okay, so then you can rename this one to 2021Q4. And the nice thing about it is you already have your formulas in here. So if you use, when you're done with quarter three, you just click in here, go over like this, like hold the shift button down, hold shift and then your arrow to go over and then shift down and see now how it's all highlighted. If you hit control C, that copies everything, right? So if you go to your next quarter here and you just click in the first one and hit control V, it copies everything over for you. So now again, Illinois, 100. Look, it's already working. You know, the only thing you got to do is you have to copy this down. So I copy this down and I just, you know, hold shift down, hit control V. And we got, oops. Hold on. Let's undo all that. Okay. So you just have to, this is adding up here. So you just have to, this formula is going M3, M1000. Oh, because this is in four. 
All right, perfect. So, yeah. Instead of getting the thing, what I'll do is I'll just do your equal sum here, and you can just move it over. But again, it already pulled, but it's reading from. Um, oh, we're reading the wrong way. Yeah, because this one's reading all the way down. We don't want that. We want to read across. That was my fault. I, that's my mistake. So we want we want C three. C3 to C, and then, or we want H3, so we want H3. And then now we can copy this all the way down, okay? So now that'll work. And again, if you get confused, you can just come back here and just copy this formula here. Just copy this, and and then paste it over here, and it'll pull the formula, okay? But that's how you create a Google Sheets real quick, is to, to keep track of your IFTA, and then it makes... Your, your your if the reporting super simple super easy super quick and again it's the same formula for Excel the formulas are the same the the layout looks the same everything you do is pretty much the same um, for your reporting if you have any questions let me know but this I know you guys have been asking for this and I've, it's been a little while for me to get this put together for you again sorry this is really long but I just wanted to take you step by step by step on how to actually create these spreadsheets so you can make your life so much easier in the, in the time in the office so much quicker. Your reporting's just a nice breeze. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I appreciate you guys. I'm Michael Ferrar. I'm your positive energy trucker. I hope you have an awesome day, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.